Is it data, data, or daddy? <laughs> I am so excited to be unboxing the Apple Watch Series 7. I myself have an Apple Watch Series 3, so I'm hoping this is a good enough upgrade so that in the future, I can steal this one. <laughs> the packaging is super clean. Uh, that's exactly what I would expect from Apple. White, simple, it really helps feature the product itself which is, it looks like the 45 millimeter green aluminum case. I do love how they feature these cute little illustrations on the packaging. I haven't seen that with Apple products before. It's embossed or debossed and everything, hey? <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, I ripped it. Uh, I guess you have to take it now. All right, the unboxing process <laughs> is a little trickier. Okay, it's turning on now. I prefer the black watch over the other options that they have, but if you want something a little more funky, they also have a green, a red, a blue, and the starlight color. What color is starlight? Starlight, I, it's kind of a white-ish color. I don't know how else to describe it. They also offer two other finishes. They have the stainless steel options and the titanium options. I call those money bag options. Yes, exactly. They are quite a bit pricier. You know, I could unbox just the Hermes bands because they are even more expensive than any of the watch bodies. Wait, wait, you pronounce it Hermes? It's Hermes. Is it Hermes? No! Is this French? It is French. I really do love this packaging with the watch bands. In previous generations, I don't recall them including instructions as to how to do it so clearly. So I will say, attaching the strap to the watch does feel a bit cheap or flimsy, uh, but once it's in there, it's in there. The display of the new watch is IP6X certified, uh, dust resistant. The crystal is the most crack resistant that we've seen so far. First person I thought of was my dad because he's a carpenter. He has like a Fitbit or something. It's always so dusty and he gets dust in all of the little crevices. So this is really nice. The new Watch 7 is actually 20% larger than the Apple Watch SE and 50% larger than the Apple Watch Series 3, which is why I'm most interested because I would love to have a larger screen so it's easier to see while I'm just, you know, living my life. Another difference between this generation and the last is that the charging cable is actually USB-C now. So you can plug it into your MacBook Pro and not have to worry about using a dongle, which I always need to do. The cable feels thicker. I don't know if that's just me. Uh, my dog ate through my last one. The Watch 7 features an up to 18 hour battery power, which is the same as the Series 5 and 6. The only difference is that this one charges up to 33% faster, which means that for people on the go, this is way more convenient. While my phone is updating, might as well segue to our sponsor. Thanks, Jackery, for sponsoring this short circuit. Their Explorer 1500 portable power station has enough juice to keep all your devices powered and connected. Its huge 1500 watt hour capacity and 1800 watt output rate allows up to seven devices plugged in simultaneously. It takes only four hours to recharge up from zero to 80%. Check out the Explorer 1500 at the link below and use code Linus Tech Tips for 10% off. We're finally ready to set up my Apple Watch and pair it with my phone. I will mention that the pairing process for the new Apple Watch 7 is very similar to uh, the other series. Super, super easy and convenient. You could pretty much set it up anywhere. Pairing failed, excuse me. So easy. I would like to revoke my statement. <laughs> my phone would not pair with the Apple Watch for the life of it. So I'm gonna be using Jono's phone instead. Hello. Oh, there we go. If you're wondering if there's anything else really different with the internals of the Apple Watch Series 7, well, there isn't. It shares the same 64-bit dual core processor as the Series 6. The connectivity specs are the same as the last generation when it comes to Wi-Fi, data, and Bluetooth. Wow, spiffy. The swatch band is a little big for my wrist, but that's okay. Do you want to share the analytics with Apple? No. <laughs> <laughs> is it data, data, or daddy? <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Get to know your watch. We're gonna become friends. <laughs> I will say the watch band is quite comfortable. It feels like it forms to your wrist. The silicone one kind of did that as well, but this one is lighter almost. I feel like my skin can breathe better. <laughs> Yay! Oh, I don't want tips. You gotta go to LTT for that. <laughs> <laughs> this man's right here, Mr. Linus Sebastian himself. So one great feature that the Apple Watch 7 offers is the always on retina display, which I love because with my series three, I always find myself flicking my wrist towards me and smacking it to turn it off. As a designer, I always like to match my Apple Watch screen to my outfit. So let's see what they have for new faces. It looks like they have added this one for the new series seven and I'm gonna change the color to match what I'm wearing today. So let's find a gray. Perfect, look at that. And you can also use your own photos. So if you wanna be reminded of your cute dog every two minutes, then hey, so be it. You can change it to that as well. The newest applications Apple has added to the Series 7 is the blood oxygen level detector and the ECG test, which are both not recommended for people who are under 22, which is myself. Why? Maybe it just can't get an accurate reading. I'm just gonna test my heart rate right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is how you can tell I'm actually nervous. I try not to show it, but this is literally what my heart rate is like all the time. As I got older, I started getting heart palpitations and I didn't know why I was getting really bad pains in my chest. Um, until I used my Apple Watch to check my heart rate and it was at like 190. What? What? Yeah, and that would happen to me every like six or seven months and it still happens to this day. So it is super handy for me to have a, a heart rate on my wrist all the time just so that if I can see my heart rate is up, uh, I can use coping mechanisms or breathing um, mechanisms to help me bring it back down. Oh, blood oxygen. All right, let's see how this works. Keep your watch facing up and tr try not to move. Resting your wrist on the table can help. Okay, my wrist is indeed rested on the table. So my blood oxygen is at 95. This actually might be really good for someone with asthma. That's cool. There's a menstrual tracking cycle thing. Are you serious? Yeah, there is. Oh, I have to open my health app, which is actually Jono's health app, and uh, I don't think he's tracking his menstrual cycles. <laughs> I'm just finishing up setting up the ECG and there are some disclaimers, which is good. Thanks Apple for telling me that I should not use this as a way to track whether or not I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> it's quite snug on my left wrist. You can see my skin is kind of, you know, popping out there. There we go. My heart rate is a 106 beats per minute average. So I saw this trick on TikTok that I would love to try out just to see if it actually works. So basically you can set your Apple Watch to open Apple Pay or Siri or some other features by simply just making a fist. So what I'm gonna do is go to uh, assistive touch and then hand gestures. And if I go into clench, I can actually change it to any of these options. Like, am I doing it wrong? What else is a clench? Like, this is a clench, right? Yeah. Hello? I'm sad about this. I really thought it was gonna work. So one last determining factor for me is, Linus mentioned a little while ago that there was a fervorous, uh, intense calorie burning activity that is not in the sports app. I'm talking about badminton, by the way, thanks. Um, so I wanted to see if that is available now. Ad workout, okay, let's see. Ba oh, there it is, look at that. Badminton, so if you play badminton. While the visual aspects of this new Series 7 Apple Watch have changed quite a bit, the retina screen and the crystal display are really great new features. But if you're trying to upgrade from a Series 6 to a Series 7, honestly, I don't think it would be worth it. On the other hand, if you're like me and are stuck with the Series 3, then maybe you do want to upgrade. I'll leave that up to you and to your judgment since I was having problems with a couple of the features. Maybe after time, they'll get easier 
and work better. If you want to learn more about the Apple Watch 7 and hopefully watch somebody who doesn't have as many issues as I do, then I suggest going over to our MacAdjust channel and watching Jonathan go over all of the features and review the new Apple Watch 7. Or if you aren't an Apple user like myself, check out Jake's unboxing of the Samsung Watch 4 on this channel. Thanks for watching!